I was like thinking, oh my gosh, where can I possibly take a dump on the side of this road? Yo, what is up fam? Um, so I went for my, technically my first run. I'm trying to strive forward so that, uh, you know, I could live a healthier life and um, yeah, I just want to live a, a, a more clean and uh, more kind of a meaningful way of life because I don't know, the way that I was going before, it wasn't going anywhere, just eating badly, not exercising for a purpose. And uh, now I am, I feel like I am doing it in, in, in terms of a, a better direction, you know, I, I haven't fully set like all my goals into motion. I haven't really set all my goals actually because I have one big goal, but I don't have goals in between to kind of help me complete the bigger one. I'm still researching a lot of things like uh, how to run, how, the, the best clothes to run, the kind of best shoes to run in, uh, the best form to kind of run in best places to run there's heaps of things i need to kind of address but i think the most important thing is just to actually run myself and um just get up in the morning if i can't do it in the morning i'll do it after work just to try and get that run in every day and to try at least uh better myself probably maybe uh like five I think five to ten percent every every time because I, I heard that like you shouldn't go up too quickly because you that's the that's how you kind of uh, risk injury if you go too hard all the time so you want to kind of increase it in increments like the the, the time or the um, the distance so so that you kind of keep your body safe that you can actually run a marathon instead of uh, burning yourself out or risking injury just before like a big race or something like that so uh i'm just trying to do it the right way what's good about it is that there is a lot of support that you can find online on youtube and all that kind of stuff and uh yeah that's what i'm doing now i'm just researching and <laughs> my first run so i went for my technically my first run well the first run i'm kind of recording um i went for a run yesterday uh i'll show you on my watch i went for a four point i don't know if you guys can see it 4.19 kilometer run yesterday oh so oh yeah so yesterday it was really good but that was during the like uh, i think i ran around midday and i ran around yeah 4.19 uh, uh miles and today this morning i got up at 6 a.m i drank some of this like tea it's sort of like a i don't know it's like it helped your metabolism stuff but the thing is like it kind of gave me a stomach ache came me like i really needed to take a dump really like two kilometers in so i started at 6 30 by seven o'clock my stomach was i could have like i was actually holding my back um while walking because i was just like oh my god it's gonna come out like <laughs> I was like thinking, oh my gosh, where can I possibly take a dump on the side of this road when no one could see me? I was actually having those thoughts. I didn't, guys. But um, uh, yeah, I, 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 <laughs> I think I was like 300 meters from my house. I had the keys ready already to like kind of just stick it in so I could like open the door straight. I was taking like unzipping my clothes so I can just like burst into the toilet so I could just release. Oh, it was so frustrating because I think I thought I was on a really good roll two kilometers in and then that affected me. So that's something that I got to learn. Um, uh, maybe I won't take the tea next time. I'll just go straight into the run, but like definitely like release everything, all the, all the things that you don't need release before the run, because you don't want to have those kind of prob problems and complications later. I know that it, it, you know, it obviously makes sense, but some of this stuff, like, cause I honestly did release everything, uh, before my run. Well, I thought I did. It's just that maybe the tea kind of, gathered up everything that else was, that wasn't digested and I had to release it afterwards. So uh, I know you guys don't probably want to hear that kind of stuff, but it's something that you, if you do want to take on this journey, uh, it's something to take in consideration because yeah, it's just a, like, it's a waste of time. Like I, I, I prepared myself mentally and like I, I got running and then I had to stop and it sucks, you know, I ended up having to um, walk my dog Gucci out later. Uh, to kind of make up for the, the the rest of the time that I had to like instead of running, I just take, I took her for a walk. I'm trying to uh, I'm looking up ways that you can run with without your phone because I, I feel like it's it's kind of heavy and it's kind of it's really annoying because I, I don't want to be doing that kind of stuff or like I don't want to hold my phone and I don't want it like jiggling around while I'm actually running. I just maybe have some music. So I have my uh, my what's my wife's AirPods. 
I think they're the second generation, so they're kind of really old, <laughs> but they do the job because I think with the with these the older iPhone watches, um, not the newest uh, version, they allow you to still have around like um, I think it's maybe eight songs or something that it kind of records, so that you can still listen to them without your iPhone. So that's pretty good. At least it keeps you kind of entertained. But it sucks because I can't listen to my podcasts. I'm starting to take it seriously, so. Uh, I, I took yesterday. I took some progress shots, and oh my gosh, it's kind of really embarrassing. Uh, I actually felt really embarrassed because I think I was out with uh, Chase yesterday when because we made the shoes. I don't know why I was embarrassed. I was looking through my phone. I was gonna show Chase my new sneaker kind of display at the back, and uh, as I was strolling, I, I, I saw my photos of my um my progress shots, and I was just like, oh my god, I better show anyone, I got really embarrassed. But it's something that I think I have to come into terms with, because I know my body's not going to look like that. I want to give proper reviews in terms of uh, how to run, uh, and uh, what to wear, all the things that you might need to know. Because uh, sometimes people might think that it's, it's, yeah, it is really super simple. But if you want to do it in terms of the long term, or uh, if you really want to take it seriously, like you want to, you know, do a marathon, like what I'm what I'm aiming to do, then, uh, yeah, it's, um, you know, he's, yeah, I'm just going to try to give you guys a few pointers and take you on my journey. But yeah, so uh, I'm making a lot of good progress. I'm going to be doing a lot of research in terms of, uh, what I can bring. I'm going to, I'm going to think I'm going to buy one of those flip belts so that I can, uh, use to put my phone in, uh, keys in all that and all that kind of stuff. They look, it, it, so far it looks like it's the best um, kind of accessory that you can use to bring your phone. I don't want to bring those armbands. I don't want to carry it and all that kind of stuff. And um, I'm looking for proper shoes that can, uh, you know, because like, I'm just currently using the um, the Reacts, the uh, Epic Reacts 2, which have, you know, they've been done, doing wonders for me. I'm perfectly happy with them. Like one of the, the, the good things about having this is that I do have a lot of uh, people that are inspiring me, uh, like my wife, like all my, my, even my Baba, but mostly, mainly my, my main guy is uh, Jared uh, Boha, who works out in um, Nike uh, Pacific Werribee. He's a very big inspiration of mine. I, I actually, I, like I didn't really know um, Jared until like only really recently. Like I knew him, I knew that he worked there and we well, I was like, what's up man? We boys, we boys, but we boys more now because he does a marathon. He inspired me to do a marathon and I've been checking out his Instagram feed. Oh, this guy, oh, just that feeling of completing a marathon has got to be, it's something that I'm really, really looking forward to and I, I know I can do it. And, um, you know, guys, if we, if I can do it, you guys can do it. I'm not saying that I've completed it already, but definitely I am just an average person. I am, I don't run that much. I, I play basketball every now and again. I weighing myself on the first day. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I have never weighed three figures before. What? I am way like not as good as like i shouldn't be really good at running and all this kind of stuff because look at my body look at my weight and i'm like physically just aesthetically looking at me i cannot do it right now yes i cannot do it right now but i am training so that i can do it in the future which and i think it's good timing with the covid 19 because we are allowed to go for runs and exercise but there i don't think that there's not a lot of um what do you call it? marathon events happening at the moment so it kind of maybe they'll give me a chance to kind of train myself I'm giving myself a couple of months, but I'm really trying to see how I go in four weeks and to see how much progress I can uh, achieve. And hopefully I can share it with you guys. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, please give me all the support you can because it's it's not easy kind of putting yourself out there and uh, kind of, uh, how do I say, showing vulnerable pictures of myself like this. Like, I know, like to me, like, I don't care. You guys can judge me as, as much as you want, but it's the first time I've actually done that, like to show people. If people call me fat, people call me unhealthy and all this kind of give me <laughs> this really bad criticism. Okay, it's your own opinion. But, um, you know, that, that, that's that's more fuel for me, you know, as well. So people that cheer me on gives me fuel. People that are like hating on me, that's, that's more fuel as well because I really want to change myself so I can look better, feel better, and just be a healthier person. And I can't keep going the way that I was before because it's 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 a bad cycle. Eating horribly, 
take out all the time. Me and my wife, and I'm inspiring my wife to do other things as well, to try and you know, live healthier because that's what we kind of did after we uh, got married. We kind of let ourselves go. So now I'm kind of, now I have, I have an actual goal in terms of my fitness. Because before, when I used to work out, I just used to work out because I knew I was, I was heavy. I knew I was like overweight. And, but why? What was I doing? I wasn't really doing it for an actual purpose or a goal. I just did it because I know I should be doing it. So eventually, like, you know, when like, uh, I can have another cheap meal, like, oh, yeah, I'll just have another cheap meal or like, you know, eat badly for like a whole week and just say, oh, like, I'll, I'll make up for it when I play basketball or whatever. But now I've actually got a real goal that it's it's that's why I think whenever you set a, a, a challenge for yourself in terms of fitness, always make it so hard, make it really hard because 42 kilometers or like something like that or like a marathon is is quite quite daunting and um it's something that i i don't know if i can even do even if i do train for months and months for it, i don't know if i can actually complete it on the day because uh that's how do you even train for a marathon i don't even know i, I don't even know like I, I know people take gels with them how do you even eat while you're running wouldn't that give you indigestion and all that kind of stuff so there's a lot of things that i want to know that i want to learn and i I'm, I'm, i hope to be able to show and enlighten you guys on that journey so if you ever want to think about running a, a marathon which is a huge accomplishment like a human accomplishment because our bodies are made to be moving all the time not just to be stagnant and just sitting in an office all day sitting down we're supposed to be made to you know we're made to move you know and like putting yourself to that um kind of um test of like reaching your limits is uh you know it's something that I, I really want to do and it's something i really want to accomplish it like a it really is a bucket list item for me now i know a lot of people that have done it and every time i've seen it, i was so proud of them uh, every time that they did it because the the transformation from what they were from the beginning to what they uh well, by the time that they have accomplished all these goals and have um how do i would say have just um completed multiple marathons it's it's unbelievable and uh, at first I was just like, yeah, that's nice. Like, but that's when I wasn't like, I was okay with myself. I wasn't really uh, just like trying to get anywhere. But now that I've got a goal, it's kind of really inspirational. It's just like, yeah, I want to do it. I want to do it. Wanna, come on, come on. I want to cross that finish line. Just like, yeah, I did it. That's the kind of feeling that I want to have. And uh, I know I can do it. And yeah, hopefully I can get you guys support on the way. And uh, let me know what you guys think about this um, actual new direction of this channel that I'll be taking for a while because I'll still be doing reviews, especially for running sneakers and all that kind of stuff. But uh, you know, this is this is what I'm doing, guys. I'm actually, you know, using sneakers or footwear for their intended purpose, especially for Nike. And uh, you know, they're, they're really meant to get you from A to B in the most uh, kind of comfortable way. But a lot of them have been like made for performance especially the running sneakers that have been created by Nike and other different kind of brands. And that's where I'll be kind of testing as well. So performance testing, not just looks, not just reviewing them on looks or um, comfort and sizing and all that kind of stuff. It's actually performance wise, which ones will help you in terms of long distance running, short distance or like casual wear. So I can give a, give a better review for you guys as well. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy the, the new uh, direction that I'm going and, and let me know what you guys think in the comments. Thank you once again, guys, for uh, watching this video. And uh, you yeah, know, I'm really excited and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.